Imagine walking through the bustling streets of Mexico City, unaware that beneath the asphalt, under the subways, beneath the foundations of modern buildings and ancient temples, lies a hidden world, silent, powerful, and full of secrets. A world that not only sustains Mexico, but could, in a short time, redefine the global balance. What lies beneath Mexico is not merely rock, ore, or oil. It is an energetic, geological, and symbolic map of the future. And this future, though it may seem distant, has already begun to be contested. Consider this. While the world discusses artificial intelligence, nuclear fusion, and space travel, a silent war is unfolding underground. Countries and corporations are racing to discover and control critical resources, such as lithium, silver, copper, and rare earths, the very elements that power electric car batteries, solar panels, and the circuits in our devices. And at the center of this race, an unexpected protagonist emerges, Mexico. For decades, it was seen merely as a link between the North and the South, between the United States and Latin America. But what is hidden beneath Mexico reveals something much larger. The country rests upon one of the planet's richest and most complex terrains. Soil teeming with strategic minerals, an underground network of fresh water stretching for kilometers beneath the Yucatan Peninsula, and a geological structure housing energy history and unexplored potential. However, unlike the oil of the Middle East or Bolivian lithium, what lies beneath Mexico is more than a resource. It is a crossroads. On one side, there is the promise of prosperity, sovereignty, and leadership in the new green economy. On the other, the risk of foreign exploitation, environmental destruction, and disguised dependence. This dispute is not fought with tanks or armies, but with investments, trade agreements, and environmental laws shaped under pressure. Therefore, understanding what lies beneath Mexico means comprehending a silent yet decisive chapter of world history currently being written in the northern mines, the submerged caves of the south, and the political decisions that will determine who truly benefits from what is hidden beneath our feet. What Mexico holds underground could shift the planet's energy balance, the economic power of nations, and perhaps even the course of humanity. The question is, is Mexico ready for this? And is the world ready for what is about to emerge from the Mexican depths? Beneath Mexican soil lies a treasure that has shaped empires and economies for centuries. But today, this treasure takes on a new dimension. Mexico sits atop some of the largest reserves of strategic minerals on the planet. These are elements that, until recently, seemed like mere geological curiosities. Silver, copper, gold, zinc, lithium, but are now the essential fuel of the 21st century economy. Every smartphone, every electric car, every solar panel, and even the satellites orbiting Earth depend on these resources. And Mexico, often seen merely as an industrial or tourist country, holds a part of the world's technological future beneath its feet. Mexican silver, for instance, has always been a symbol of wealth since Spanish colonization. Today it returns to the spotlight, not as jewelry or currency, but as an indispensable component in solar panels and electronic circuits. The country is the world's largest producer of silver and the tenth largest of copper, and is also gaining prominence for its lithium potential, the so-called white gold that powers tomorrow's batteries. These reserves make Mexico a key player in the global race for energy and technological autonomy, especially at a time when the world is trying to reduce its dependence on China and unstable regions. But this subterranean power comes with profound dilemmas. Large international companies eye Mexican soil with the same appetite they centuries ago cast upon the gold of the Americas. Governments and corporations are quietly maneuvering to secure concessions and contracts, while local communities struggle to maintain control over their lands and resources. There is also the environmental challenge. Intensive mining destroys ecosystems, contaminates aquifers, and deepens social inequalities. What appears to be prosperity can easily turn into ruin if the country fails to balance exploitation and sovereignty. Beyond the economic aspect, there is a geopolitical dimension few perceive. What lies beneath Mexico places it at the center of a new dispute among powers. The United States increasingly relies on Mexico to secure safe and stable supply chains, 
while European and Asian countries seek agreements to diversify their sources of critical minerals. Mexican subsoil, therefore, has become an invisible arena where the course of the global energy transition is being decided. In other words, what lies beneath Mexico is far more than a natural resource, it is both a promise and a risk. If the country can transform its subterranean riches into technological independence and sustainable prosperity, it could redefine its role in the world. But if it allows its subsoil to become a bargaining chip, the future may be just another repetition of the old story of exploitation. Beneath the Yucatan Peninsula lies another type of wealth, silent and invisible, an immense network of caves, underground rivers, and natural freshwater reservoirs. These are the cenotes, formations that the ancient Mayans considered portals to the spiritual world, but which today are revealed as one of the largest underground water reserves on the planet. This water system, extending for hundreds of kilometers, is vital not only for biodiversity, but also for millions of people who depend directly or indirectly on it. The problem is that this liquid treasure, hidden beneath Mexican soil, is slowly being threatened, and its collapse could affect not only Mexico, but the environmental balance of the entire hemisphere. These underground waters sustain unique ecosystems. Within them live species found nowhere else on Earth, some as ancient as the first human civilizations. Moreover, this natural system regulates moisture flow, influences regional climate, and feeds water tables that irrigate crops and sustain entire cities. It is literally a pulsating heart beneath the surface. But as development progresses, with resorts, highways, and major infrastructure projects, this heart begins to weaken. Contamination from waste, deforestation, and ground drilling compromise the purity and balance of this delicate ecosystem. Mexico faces a dilemma. On one hand, it seeks economic growth and modernization. On the other, it needs to preserve one of the planet's greatest natural treasures. The construction of the Mayan train, for example, one of Latin America's largest infrastructure projects, crosses areas of high environmental sensitivity and threatens to collapse ancient caves and contaminate underground waters. It is a perfect metaphor for the challenge the country faces progress or preservation? The answer is not simple, because Mexico carries the responsibility of balancing human advancement with the protection of a natural heritage that affects everyone's future. What lies beneath Mexico in this case is not just a resource, it is life. If these reserves are destroyed, the consequences will spread like invisible waves, desertification, water scarcity, loss of biodiversity, and even population displacement. And on a planet already experiencing water crises, the fate of these Mexican underground rivers could become a global warning. Mexico's subsoil is not merely a metaphor for what we hide beneath our feet. It is a reminder that what is unseen is often what sustains life the most. When we talk about what lies beneath Mexico, we cannot limit ourselves to the physical idea of the subsoil. There is also a structural and invisible dimension that connects everything, the infrastructure, Transportation corridors, pipelines, communication cables, and industrial routes that silently pass beneath the surface. This underground web is the country's economic skeleton, and it is transforming Mexico into one of the planet's most strategic epicenters. In recent years, a profound shift has been occurring in the global economic geography. With China's slowdown and the need for closer, more secure supply chains, Global companies have begun moving their factories to Mexico, a phenomenon called nearshoring. But what sustains this shift is not just tax incentives or proximity to the United States. It is literally underground, a network of gas pipelines, railways, ports and industrial zones connected by infrastructure that has been modernized to support this new industrial revolution. The so-called interoceanic corridor of the Isthmus of Tehuantepec is an example of this. It is one of the most ambitious undertakings in Mexico's recent history, a logistics corridor linking the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans, directly competing with the Panama Canal. It is not merely a road or a railway. It is a strategic axis that could transform global trade. Beneath its tracks and roads run gas pipelines, fiber optics, and an energy network that promises to connect southern Mexico to northern industrial hubs, 
and by extension, to the North American market. What lies beneath, therefore, is not just soil. It is connectivity, energy, and economic power. This subterranean transformation is redefining Mexico's position on the global stage. The industrial zones of states like Querétaro, Nuevo León, and Chihuahua are rapidly expanding, driven by the arrival of technological and automotive giants. What happens underground? In energy transport, in mines, in subterranean communication routes, is what sustains the country's new identity as a manufacturing and technological powerhouse. But this new network also carries risks. While Mexico becomes vital to the global economy, it also becomes vulnerable to external pressures and strategic dependencies. If this infrastructure is mismanaged, it could reproduce the old Latin American pattern of dependence and exploitation. If well utilized, however, Mexico could become the logistical heart of the Americas, a connector between the physical and digital worlds, between energy and technology, between the present and the future. What lies beneath Mexico in this sense is the invisible thread weaving its destiny, and perhaps the new axis that will drive the 21st century economy. Beneath Mexico also pulses something deeper than wealth or infrastructure, a constant tension between sovereignty and dependence, between the right to exploit and the obligation to preserve. It is in this invisible terrain that one of the country's most complex disputes is waged, the struggle for control of its own subsoil. Every open mine, every drilled well, every licensed square meter of land carries a story of power, inequality and resistance. What is at stake is not just who extracts the resources, but who truly benefits from them. Mexican mining, for example, represents one of the country's economic pillars. It generates jobs, exports and foreign investment. But the human and environmental cost of this activity is brutal. In several regions, entire communities live surrounded by craters, dust and contaminated rivers. Water, which once sustained crops and families, now serves to wash minerals and carry toxic waste. Profits soar, but life around them drains away. This contradiction exposes a dilemma Mexico has faced for centuries. How to extract wealth without extracting its own future? The government attempts to address this through new regulations. Recent reforms seek to limit the influence of foreign companies, protect the environment, and return to communities the right to decide on the use of their lands. But in practice, these measures face resistance from large corporations and even political allies who fear capital flight. The dispute is intense because Mexican subsoil does not belong only to Mexico. It is coveted by powers who see it as a global strategic reserve. International pressure is immense. The United States and Canada, Mexico's main trading partners, closely observe any attempt at resource nationalization. At the same time, Chinese and European companies try to secure privileged access to minerals essential for the energy transition. This behind-the-scenes war does not appear in the news, but it defines who will dominate the future of green technology. What lies beneath Mexico has become a geo-economic battlefield, where national sovereignty is tested with every concession, every contract, every law passed. Meanwhile, the social impact intensifies. Indigenous peoples, peasants and environmental activists face threats, persecution and even death for defending their territory. The struggle for what lies beneath the earth is, in fact, a struggle for the dignity of what lies above it. It is the reflection of a country trying to break with the historical cycle of being exploited for its riches without ever fully benefiting from them. What lies beneath Mexico, therefore, is not just ore. It is a living metaphor for the battle for autonomy. If the country can protect what is its own, it can write a new history. But if it yields to pressures and repeats the mistakes of the past, the subsoil that today promises wealth could become the foundation of its next dependency. Beneath Mexico, amidst rocks, caves and mineral veins, lies something even deeper, a choice. The country stands at a historical crossroads that could define not only its own destiny, but the global balance for decades to come. On one side, Mexico has the chance to become a sustainable power, intelligently leveraging its subterranean resources, minerals, energy, water, to build an independent, innovative and environmentally respectful economy. On the other, there is the risk of repeating the old Latin American story. Riches extracted from the ground 
but leaving behind poverty, destruction, and dependence. This choice is not theoretical, it is already happening. As the world accelerates its energy transition, the minerals sleeping beneath Mexican soil, especially lithium, copper, and silver, have become more valuable than ever. Each ton extracted can represent billions in revenue, but it can also mean centuries of environmental impacts. It's a delicate game where every economic decision has social and climatic consequences. Mexico, by virtue of its location and reserves, could be the engine of the new green revolution or the epicenter of a new exploitation crisis. Everything depends on how it manages what lies beneath its feet. There are promising signs. The country has begun discussing stronger mineral sovereignty policies, incentives for domestic industrialization, and investments in clean technology. National and foreign companies seek to create hubs for battery and electric vehicle production within the territory itself, which could transform Mexico into one of the world's leading exporters of sustainable energy. However, this transformation will only be real if accompanied by transparency, planning, and respect for local communities, the true guardians of the territory. But there is also a symbolic aspect to this depth. What lies beneath Mexico represents, in essence, what lies beneath every civilization, our foundations. It is there that we deposit both our riches and our contradictions. The Mexican subsoil is a mirror of humanity, a reflection of how we treat the planet, people and power. If exploited with consciousness, it can illuminate the future. If exploited with greed, it can bury opportunities for generations. What lies beneath Mexico, therefore, is more than a set of resources. It is a moral and civilizational test. How the country decides to deal with its depths will show the world whether it is possible to balance progress and respect, profit and life, development and humanity. Because ultimately, perhaps what truly changes the world's future is not what Mexico has beneath its land, but what it decides to do with it. What lies beneath Mexico is, in fact, the truest portrait of its destiny, and perhaps the destiny of all humanity. Because the Mexican subsoil is not merely a reservoir of wealth or a field of political disputes, it is a mirror of what the entire world is facing. The choice between repeating the same patterns of exploitation or learning to build a new model of prosperity based on balance and consciousness. Everything hidden beneath Mexico, its minerals, its waters, its networks, its history, reveals the interdependence between nature, power, and humanity. If the country can transform its depths into a source of autonomy and sustainable progress, it could become a symbol of a new era. An era where wealth arises not just from what is extracted from the earth, but from how it is cared for. But if it follows the easy path of limitless exploitation, it could awaken destructive forces that extend far beyond its borders. How Mexico deals with what lies beneath it is a metaphor for how civilization deals with its own planet. We dig, we exploit, we consume, and rarely pause to consider the price. The future of the world may be hidden beneath Mexican soil, not because it holds precious metals or energy reserves, but because Mexico stands before a moral and strategic test that all countries will soon have to face. Its decision will mirror what is yet to come, to continue digging until exhaustion, or to learn finally to build from within. And perhaps that is precisely the true power of what lies beneath Mexico, to remind us that the most transformative riches are not those we take from the earth, but those we are capable of awakening within ourselves.